Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And today we have a mystery bag from the Community Thrift. I've had this one, um, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks now or longer than that. So we're going to go ahead and dive in right here. I see something really cool right there. I think that's a pin, maybe a cat of some sort. But, um... I just wanted to say I'm so excited. We reached a thousand subscribers. Yay! And so in this video, if you leave a comment down below, you will be entered for a jewelry giveaway. I'm going to do one jewelry giveaway. And um, I think I'll probably give it about maybe five days to pick a winner or so from this video. Um... But good luck to everybody. And um, let's see what else. Um, oh, um, this would only this is only going to be for U.S. Um, subscribers. I'm sorry to the to the subscribers outside of the country. The shipping is really expensive. So. Um, so if only for the U.S. subscribers are going to be able to um, be entered in this giveaway. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we got. Ooh. Oh, she's cute. What is... Oh, wow. This is a really, really cute pen. There's no maker's mark. All of the stones are there. Oh, she's one of the top cat pins I've ever come across. Beautiful. Is it a cat or is it... It looks like either a Siamese or maybe a fox. I don't know. She is adorable. I love it. So, oh... Let's go ahead and dive on in. I think what I'm going to have to do is, let me see, let me rearrange this. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I put the bag to the side and I'm just going to pull some pieces out. Here we have a necklace and it says China. Oh, this is Cookie Lee. So I thought this was going to be like an older, older piece, but, um, I'm surprised Cookie Lee made this. We have the wooden beads. I don't even think these are glass. These are like plastic with some faux shells. It's really, really cute. I would have never thought that Cookie Lee made this necklace, but that's cute. Then we have this... I believe this is a choker style necklace because it's too big for a bracelet, but you could wrap it around twice. And let's see if this locket opens up. Okay, no, it's a fake. Oh, no, no, it opens up. Oh, look at that. When I was a little girl, I loved lockets. All the stones are there. It's cute. There's no maker's mark, but you know. Um, here we have a red stretchy bracelet, which I do like this deep red. It's just this stretch right here looks like it's gonna give out. So if it was maybe re strung, something you know, a little bit more durable. These. These look like they're about to bust, but I love the deep red with the red s squares. Here we have some earrings. Um, some singles. This one's interesting. Oh, I got a pair right here. These are Liz Claiborne. I first thought that possibly that was silver. Because it does look like it. But... <clears throat> I don't think Liz Claiborne would have silver. Here's a ring with um, peace signs. 
Here's another ring with some red ABs. <laughs> like a oversized cocktail ring. Here's um a single earring. Who's this? FLP. I don't know who FLP is. I probably come across them in the past and I don't remember here's a ring just a faux uh, sterling now this is really cute little dainty faux pearl with marcasites encrusted around oh and then we have some verdigris some white vinegar a little scrub of white vinegar we'll take that off here's a single earring and no maker's mark on this oh wait monet it's this this is a monet so that must be like an older monet piece there's another single earring here's look at this little one right here very um fragile delicate i should say just a little pearl earring so i'm gonna move these over um i should probably i'm gonna get hold on one second so i'll just start putting the singles in that bowl right there here we have a pair of some yusha this is glass or real shell painted shell yeah we've got some fuchsia <clears throat> earrings here's the other clip on to that that pair all right, let's see here. A lot of clip-ons in this. Oh, here's the other, the other one. Okay. Oh, what's this? Okay, this is a watch. Wait a minute. There's a clip-on. This one's actually really cool. No maker's mark that I could see. Okay, that just fell off. That's interesting. I could still smell um, whoever owned these pieces. Um, there's a maker's mark in there or something. I could still smell like woman's perfume. Okay, so I need to get my loop. Hold on one second. Okay, so this says in here 925 Thailand. But when I put the magnet against it... <laughs> It's um, it's magnetic. Say it's lifting, so that's a Fugazi. Okay, so I got pulled this watch. This is a I cannot see. Let me see here. Oh, this is a Park Lane watch. Oh, that's cool. Park Lane does pretty good. I always want to say Park Avenue. It's so stretchy, which is kind of like, uh, makes me a little nervous. But it's in very good condition. Has the iridescent faceted stone crystals. Actually, they're plastic. They're not even crystals. <clears throat> Here we have, oh, here's the other. Oh, no, this is a different earring. Here we have another watch. So this is probably Charm and Charlie. I don't know. CC. Mm, I know this is this isn't a Chanel. That, that would be great, right? It's a stretchy. It looks like it it did um. Oh my god, here's another watch. So, somebody donated all their stretchy watches. This is... Who is this? Oh, Charm and Charlie again. Oh, 
Yeah. This needs a cleanup. I don't know if uh, this one looks like it has some. It has a lot of wear on it. So here we have a common bronze root beer um, faux pearl necklace. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a maker's mark. There's... Um, there's no maker's mark. But this is kind of cool, the centerpiece right here. I mean, I see a lot of these all the time, these string necklaces. But what makes it different is that it has this um, center pendant right here. It's probably Cookie Lee, now that I'm thinking about it. And we have a cute little koala. <laughs> That's cute. Here we have a stretchy, big um, pearl bracelet. Oh, these are fun. Look at this. I always like these beaded ones. Seed bead um, bangles. These are fun. Here we have one earring. It's a gold tone with like rocks, stones. They're not real though. Mm, look at this one. This is a stone of some sort. This is a big one. Jesus. This reminds me of like the 70s. <laughs> the 80s maybe. We have a... Okay, so this is broken, this chain right there, but it's a heart. So I probably would keep the heart, put it on something else, and somehow break this off. Just cut. I'm going to put that to the side. Here we have this cool cross. A necklace on this brass wash here's another cross but we got a bunch of tangles of earrings there's a lot of earrings in this lot so I'll probably have a good amount for the pairs. How's everybody doing this week? This week went by really fast for me. I mean, I've been busy, but it just went extremely fast. Single earring. I've seen these before. I think my grandmother gave me a pendant of that same style. Wooden bead. Oh, these are cute. Look at these are little earrings, but it's like uh, I don't know what the sh oh, it's like a dog. <laughs> That's cute. Here we have another cross, faith. Yeah, so this week went by extremely fast. I can't believe tomorrow's already Friday. <gasps> Oh, this is so cute. Look at how charming this is. And Valentine's Day is coming up. Let me see. Um. Okay, what is that for? Okay, so actually it still works. We have a black mesh. There's no maker's mark. Very, very cute. Deep purples and reds with some like 
blackened iridescent stones. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I like that. Here we have a ring, but it's missing a little stone right there. So I'm just pulling out stuff. Um, here's a single earring. That's actually really nice. And what is this? Um, uh, I have a bunch of tingles. I have no idea what's going on with this. So it's a guitar. It says something right there. But then there's like an opening right here. What is going on? Is this a pendant? It's not a guitar, it's a violin, right? Or a cello. Let me see what it says. Um, so this saying that it's 925, I'm gonna go have to let my kitty out. This is silver? Wow. We gotta test that out. Let me go let's, let my kitty out. So, all right, so if we have time at the end of the video, I will I will check this out. It doesn't, 925, I don't think it's silver, but it it might be. But what, what I'm trying to figure out, why, why is it cut like this? This was attached to like a chain and I just pushed it over. Um, these are really, really cute. So hopefully we have the pair for that. Let's move all this stuff over. And Oh my goodness, there's a big old seaweed tingle. I am trying to grab stuff and it is uh, a little hard. So this is like, um, this is actually cool. We have gold with the blue. I thought it was a stone, but it's not. It's just plastic. Oh, look at this. It's kind of like a dichroic ring. It's too big, but I do like the different colors that they have in there. Here we have... Um, some earrings so these are the pairs right here I don't know if everything is there it looks a little bit tangled I have to fix that after single okay so this is part of a ring that I seen there before and it like it would go long and it would like bend right here where the knuck no, not the knuckles, the knuckles are right here. It would bend right here where this mid um, joint is at. But um, they just threw that in there. I don't know why they would if it's broken. <clears throat> Here's the other earring. The other earring. And so let's see here. Here's a little fishy. These look like they were handmade, but these are really, really cute. And what is this? Okay, so we have a four leaf clover. I don't think this is gold. 
No. But that would have been great, right? <laughs> yeah, that would have been awesome. And I do like this chain. This chain does have... Let me see. Does it work? No, it doesn't work. So it's missing the clasp. But I like these little elongated um, beads. I just like that style. So then I pulled this out. And this is a pin of an ice skater. Winter, Christmas time. That's cute. So here we just have a mini, like, circle of life necklace. I don't think this is gold. Oh, that's not sticking. Bronzy, you're going to get hurt. Come on. Um, let me see here. I don't see no makers. I mean, marks or anything. I think it's just a basic necklace. So I want to see what this is. As soon as I could get it out of the tangle. So this feels nice, whether it's glass or stone. It's a really beautiful jade color. I don't have a stone machine to tell me if it's real or not. I mean, I could look to see if... This is probably glass. Yeah, it's really cute though. Oh my god, there's so many tingles. So we have like this zebra cut. Okay, so are these pieces of wood? It feels too so too heavy to be wood. Oh, you know what? This is probably bone and it's painted because bone has like the same type of texture as wood. Maybe. I'm not too sure. But. We got that piece. And then we have this. This. Possibly as quartz, like a rose quartz. And, well, we don't need that string, but, hmm. It might be silver. It looks very, very worn, though. I need to test this. I probably would scrap this and then put this on something else. I need to put that to test. <clears throat> so we have a bracelet this is a party bracelet <laughs> it's just gold with some um plastic faceted it's so tiny though um little cha-cha beads i call them cha-chas that's cool. Ooh, what's this? This is, now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, are you going to tell me this is silver? Nope. <laughs> I got, I got bamboozled. Lucky brand. Wow. You guys had me there. You guys had me there. That looks pretty authentic for an old piece. Look at that. They look like dragonfish. Wow. 
Oh man, too bad that wasn't real. I don't know if Lucky Brand, I don't think so. Does, it's not, I don't think they make real silver. They make their jewelry really well. Look at that. I would have never thought. Somebody wearing that, you cannot tell that that's Lucky Brand. Look how cool that is. That piece alone wearing it this way, that looks way cooler than that. Well, they both look cool. It's like versatile. Okay, so that's awesome. Super, super awesome. Oh, what do I have here? Look at this piece. Oh, she's lovely. I don't think she's that old. It looks like something Napier. Napier. Or listener would make. What does it say? I don't know. It's it's so tarnished that little tag. So let's see here. It looks like all the stones are there. Oh, she's lovely. Yes, please. Thank you. She's gorgeous. Yeah, this is a good lot. Oh, here's a matching earring to that um, that necklace. All right, here I have just um, a chimey beaded bracelet. These are fun. They feel like they're really fun when you wear them because I like the noise that they make. Very cute. And they look to be... There's no maker's mark. These are cute. These are nice. Nice, nice, nice pieces. So I have a lot of, of um, earrings. Here is a... I wanted to say ruby, but it's not. It's an emerald shoe. I think all the stones are there. She's cute. Here we have a... Is this alpaca? Usually when it says um, Mexico 925, it is really silver. I haven't found... We're going to... I'm going to have to test her out. I have not found one where it's marked Mexico 925 and it's not silver. Now, if it's marked alpaca, then that's a whole other ball game. That's like full silver. Um, but, wow, look at how cool this is. This is an earring. Oh, yeah. This is super cool. It looks like part of a shell. It's trying to emulate that, but it's not... This says, oh my God, I don't even know what this says. Borake, no, I don't know. This could be like a quartz though, maybe. Like a tourist um, bracelet. Here we have a bunch of like uh, earrings. I'm just trying to see if this is marked. I don't see a mark on it, but I could test it. Oh, here's the other earring. What is this? Oh, this is interesting. 
Look at how cool this is. It does have so much wear on it though, but it has like the mother of pearl, the rhinestones. I really like this. Oh my gosh. I don't know if a cleaning would help it or, or make it worse. That is so cool. Here we have um, some red hoops. We have like this mango ice orange stone. A little clippy. Here's the the other clip on. Oh wow. Hmm. This is uh, Avon. It's an older piece. Very, very tiny. It's cute though. Is this marked? I don't think this is silver. Yeah, it's not silver. It's magnetic. Some more singles. There's another single clip-on. Here's a little skull. It's like a ceramic skull. This one's cute. It's on a copper. It's overlaid on a copper. Carol Lee. You look silver, Carol Lee. Ooh, look at these. Look at these gold ones. Yeah, look at this big chunk of Rooney. And we just have a stretch ring. Okay. So. Hopefully, I could find the pairs to those. And I, yeah, actually, all of them. I'm glad I put the little ball right there because sometimes I just start losing pieces. And oh lord, what's going on here? So, this looks like a Leah Sophia necklace okay we have a screw back that is entangled oh this is nice this is like that gold stone but it's not gold it's uh it's like a deep black with purple i wonder if this is um hmm that's really nice that would be cute as a pendant as well. Here we have a uh, four-tier earring. I'm so excited. Today I got in the mail these two Juicy Couture Charms. I'll share that um, in the upcoming videos. So I think this is silver. There's a mark right there. We got some potato pearls. Let me double check this mark. Yeah, it's nine to nine two five on the uh right there, see it? Very faint, but it's there. I still need to test it. So, I mean, there's a good amount of silver in here. There's a loop. Um, I'm trying to... Here is... Oh, I, I see some Brighton. Here's the other skull. Okay. This looks interesting. I saw this in the back or the back side of it. Okay, so not to get confused. Let's see here. So, yeah, this is Brighton. I need to make a Brighton lot. My Brighton's not selling, and a lot of these pieces are just very worn down. I don't know if you guys know, but Brighton pieces. 
they're not solid sterling silver. They're dipped in silver. So if you do a scratch test, it'll appear as if it's silver. But you can research it. it they they say it online. Google it. Um, they're dipped in silver. And then um, I forgot what the other metal is underneath. Because at first I was thinking, oh, are these all silver? Okay. So let's see what we got here. Get these earrings off. Um... Okay, that looks severely tarnished. What is going on? Tarnished in a good way. Because it does look like it's silver. That extender. Okay. Another um, single piece. Oh, look at how cute this is. It's a heart. This might be sterling. Yeah, it's Mark 925, Italy. It looks like it's just tarnished really bad. This is like a little girl ring or an ink. Actually, this could be an inklet, I think. We're going to test that out. And then, what is this? So, this part right here. This part right here is Mark 925. It's so fairly... So I think I might keep that because I need extenders and that's real silver. Look at how cute this is. I love the work. The filigree, the little caviar beads. A little bit broke. It's not silver. No, that isn't. But I bet you this is... Yeah, that, that extender silver. All right, this bag is great. So, let's see what else we get. I'm thinking we might find some more silver in here. Here's, um, okay, this is really cute. This is for your glasses. The seed bead, little flowers. Okay. I need to go back and get me some more bags. I'm this is my last one and I should probably go back tomorrow. I think by the time I go, though, they're, they won't have any. They they just randomly pop them up. It's like you never know. You have to go early, too. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. So. Oh, this looks old older and it's probably uh, it might be silver yeah, it's marked right there somebody donated all their silver I tend to do I mean besides that one lot on the blue box that I got that gold, all that gold, I tend to do really good with these lots better than the Goodwill blue boxes. So I'm really blessed in that sense. Um, this is not going to go, but I think, yeah, my money is at this is silver. So that's nice. Okay. What do we have here? We just have some circular beads in the middle. 
This heart's really cute. All the stones are there. Um, let me see here. I don't see any maker's mark, but yeah, I feel like that's really, really cute. Oops. Okay, so here we have an earring. This is cute. <laughs> this little shell earring. This is like a whole shell. That's cute. This was dragging everything. It's magnetic. I think the magnet came off of on one side. So it's just not okay. I don't think that this is silver because that's it's not sticking though. It's really cute. Look at the braid work on that. Well, we'll test it. And then I found this little cutie. I think I'm going to have to do a part two because I still have a good amount to go through. There was a lot of little tiny pieces in this one. Look at the little just mark um, marquise shaped pink glass. Yeah, I don't think this is. Oh. I could test it. Okay. So I'm going to have to do a part two. But because I'm already going towards an hour on this. And I have a lot more to go. So what I'm going to do is. Um, oh yeah. Don't forget to comment down below to enter the giveaway. And I don't know. In five days. Maybe at four. I don't know. Maybe, around five days. Or maybe a little bit earlier than that. Or later. I don't know. Average five days. I'm going to pick a winner. Um, so if you are want to enter and you're willing to give me your mailing address, then, you know, comment and say you want to be part of the giveaway. But if you don't want me to get your mailing address to, to ship you the jewelry, then then don't don't enter because it takes away from other people who are who really want it and who are serious. And also, I'm so sorry to the international um, supporters and subscribers. I'm only mailing in the U.S., so I'm sorry. Um, but we're going to stop right here, and then um, we're going to go into a part two of the rest of the lot and most likely test some of this silver. But you guys have a great one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you. I love everybody and all the support. We reached we reached a thousand guys, a thousand. I really didn't think it was it was gonna happen like this month. <laughs> so um, I just didn't really think about it, but I, I knew I was aiming towards it, you know. So, all right, guys, you have a good one. This is Soho California Vintage signing off.